Our PowerPoint will address different areas of IT project management and discuss failed and successful case studies. Today, many individuals and organizations have a very different understanding of project management. In the past, the primary emphasis was the supply of schedule and usage of data to top management in nearly every discipline and sector. The most daunting aspect of the project management is always the organizational challenges. Project management is the systemic process in which the team works towards fulfilling its targets and meeting the requirements for performance at a given time. What is a project? A project is known as a product or service that an agency will develop and provide a start and finish date for their clients. The agency will assign tasks to team members and hire other resources to assist with the project development. The objective for project characteristics is to focus on meeting the client's needs. Project managers should ensure the quality measures are met during and after operations. The project will have its own set of specifications that must be met within the project parameters. The project environment is made up of internal and external factors to develop the project. Project managers must consider vendors, contractors, teams, and financial resources to reach the project goal. Here are three examples of an IT project. One is designing an organization IT infrastructure. Two is deploying system and software. Three is IT employing IT security measures. Organizational characteristics have five primary forms of project organizations, which are functional, weak matrix, balance matrix, strong matrix, and project dives. Each form has its own benefit and works differently. IT project managers should have these eight qualities when performing IT project manager roles and developing new projects. The four constraints and performances are scope, time, quality, and resources. Scope involves all the operations. The four constraints and performances are scope, time, quality, and resources. Scope involves all the operations to deliver the project. Time allow project managers to provide a start and finish date for the project. Quality ensures the quality of the product will be accurate and all standards are met. Resources can be a roadmap for project success. This illustration break down the layer in this illustration breaks down the layer in project success. The first four layers describe the product success and create the value of the project. The last three layers define the project objectives and the project management success. This slide showcases a successful case study. The Arabic lo localizer case study defines the success of Gantt charts. Gantt charts provide project managers with assistance to delegate tasks by using color coding to identify tasks, resources, and financial support. This is a great visualization for project managers to use when developing a new project. There are 16 critical infrastructure sectors who set systems and networks, whether physical or virtual, are considered so vital to the United States that their incapacitation or discretion will have a deliberate effect on security, national economy security, national public health, or safety, or any other combination. Here's a list of the 16 critical infrastructure on this slide. In this case study, project in Malaysia, Kulura, Lapur, Stock Exchange, some of the failures traits were related to not following demo concepts, not reaching expectations, a lack of resources or budget was available, planning and timing was not 
realistic. Time delay and mission obligation was widespread. The course of the project and the end game was not explicit. What is project management? In the simplest term, it is the project management body of knowledge. It's fundamental in integrating project planning, execution, monitoring, evaluation, and control, and also closing. There are three components to project management known as the triple constraints, which applies to the management triangle. This refers to the boundaries of time, scope, and cost that apply to each and every project. Let's examine some of the key areas of the project management. The project management body of knowledge, also known as PIMBOOK, 10 knowledge area, such as project scope, which is the amount of work needed to finish a project, project cost, the resource and the productivity through the project life cycle, project HR, the process of identifying and documenting project roles, responsibilities, required skills, reporting, relationships, and creating a staff management. Project risk, uncertain events or condition that if it occurs has a positive or negative effect on the project objectives. Project stakeholder, a person or group that may, may be or may part of the organization that is affected by the decision. Project procurement, it is to establish the maintain relationship with the vendors of goods and services during a project life cycle. Project communication management is a collection of processes that help make sure the right message are sent, received, and understood by the right people. Project quality management is the process through which quality is man managed and maintained through a project. Time management is the management time spent on and progress made on project tasks and activities. Project integration management, the initiation, planning, executing, monitoring, and controlling, as well as close. The PIM book guide knowledge areas is a roadmap to success, starting with the integration the process of unifying and coordinating the project, providing of a scope of all of the requirement works, creating a schedule to manage the time of what to be completed. The cost of the project is necessary for keeping up what within the budget and what in case it's not enough, make sure there's enough budget to cover unexpected situation without overgoing the budget. Next is the quality is a basic meeting of expectation of the stakeholder. To have quality, you need resources. And this is achieved by identifying and acquiring essential needs to complete the project. One of the fundamental requirements on our path of success is communication. Communication is understanding what the need of the stakeholder. Every project needs to be analyzed and conduct a risk assessment of the project to reduce some or any possible failures. When a project needs an outside influence to reach a goal, that is the process of procurement. And at the end of the roadmap is the stakeholder who is analyzing and engaging in developing a project completion. This slide display the project management life cycle with the project initiation phase where an assembly occurs and a case is generated to define the project and its purpose. During the project planning phase, 
involves creating a set of plans to help guide your team through implementation to its closure. Next, project execution phase carries out the details of the project charter. We continue with the fourth phase, which is project monitoring, providing visibility and actionable insight into the project. The last phase is where all of the finalization and necessary documents that are signed and as given approval is known as the project closure phase. There are two great PM to use to achieve a level of production of complex systems within a short period of time. One is the visual technique, and the other one is attention to detail when performing tests. Grant chart and work breakdown schedule are essential in information technology projects. Gantt chart is a visual technology used to show a complete project scheduled plan. It shows the task list to be completed, expected time to be finished, and required resources. It also indicates the duration that a given task expectation and project requirements. Work breakdown schedule is a diagrammic breakdown of the entire project into smaller components in a factory way. This technique has a design principle that when all are followed, the entire project is defined in smaller components regarding those much broader components and finally the project title itself. Theories and frames. Theories derive a project cost and schedule for its network structure. We link theories to the body of knowledge by comparing prescription derived from theories to prescription presented in the pen book. Bowman and Dill claim that leaders should look at operational matters and address them in four respect, which they are called frames. D four frames consist of structure, human resources, political, and symbolic. As for dimming 14 points on quality management is a core concept on impotent, impotent total quality management, TQM. It's a set of management practice to help companies increase their quality and productivity. Here is a list of references from our group project created by our team members.